Welcome to the episode of Love and Reality Podcast. I am your host, Ricky Valero. On today's episode, we're going to be breaking down episode 10 of The Anonymous. We are three episodes away from crowning our first ever anonymous and i'm very 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 excited as we are dwindling down our numbers of people we've seen so many people come and go and to be honest with you it's quite crazy that over the last few weeks we've seen two big time dogs go home and jack and xavier and who will join them this week if you're not watching the Anonymous, it is now airing at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the USA Network instead of the previous 11 available the following week on Peacock. For those of you joining me without being able to watch the episode until the following week on Peacock, thank you guys so much for the continued support throughout the entirety of this season. I will be sitting down chatting with the person eliminated from this episode. Um, you'll be able to catch that interview Wednesday morning. Um, I look forward to sharing that with you guys. But without further ado, who's going to join our latest members of the crew? Um, being to be eliminated, is it Bisma or is Dylan going home? Nina won the anonymous for the second time and eliminates Bisma because she didn't like she didn't kind of give her the vibe of of somebody that. Um, you know, was is, is is in an alliance, or she doesn't feel like she knows her very well. And I do think Bisma might have been a good game player towards the end of the game. So I do think the strategy here was pretty solid. Bisma, Marcel, Dylan, and Chris. To me, she was the strongest of those four players. Even though Marcel, knowing that we know, knowing what we know now about the end of this show being a face-off, Marcel's pretty good at that. However, if you've watched his mannerisms, maybe you picked up on them. Um, and getting rid of Chris, I just feel like is not a strong gameplay right now. I don't know if Chris is very good at this game. And I do think that he's being carried quite a bit by his better half, Victoria. But that being said, things start to unfold in the house. Andy thinks that Lily was anonymous. Everyone is talking her up, saying that, uh, talking to Marcel, who calls her the Little Reaper, a.k.a. Lily, has had a hand in eliminating four people. It's wrong but pretty wild. I think she had her hand in eliminating three people, if I remember it correctly. Uh, one thing that uh, Jack pointed out in the interviews was the only person that knew who Nina was, knew who Nina actually was being Sandra's daughter and a former Survivor player was himself, Xavier, and Christopher also knew, but he also doesn't think Christopher remembered. So she's out here playing in the streets like nothing ever happened, and I love it. You know what I mean? She's seen two big dogs go home and i do believe that she thinks that she could be next as long as she doesn't ride that fine line um with two and a half episodes to go we get a we're going to get a handle refresh i kind of expect that um heading into the finale just because as we head into that finale there's going to be a little bit of different gameplay. And I do, do think that there's different strategy heading into this as well. Uh, challenge time. There's a chance to win $10,000. Someone will save you. There's 10 different shapes in front of them. The code has to be unlocked with six different placements. Um, the person that gets it right gets safety. Andy got three pieces, uh, three placements right at the beginning of the game and had to remove three people from the competition. It did not shock me that he did pick Dylan, but he picked Dylan, Victoria, and Lily. Um, Victoria did say ahead of the game that she's good at strategy-based games. So, I mean, obviously, if he really sat down and was like, Victoria, Lily, Dylan's more of a vengeful pick. Victoria and Lily are definitely top-tier picks because they are very good at this game. So not allowing them to get safety was brilliant. All right. Uh, they were able to complete the task with a mere minute, a, fear, a mere few minutes to spare, adding ten thousand dollars to the pot. Andy was a pivotal player in this, but Nina cracked the code and got safety again. One thing is for sure: if she keeps this up, people will start to shift their eyes. She's a great game player, and it's unfolding in front of their eyes, and they're not really doing a whole lot about it. Uh, Victoria and Andy think that Dylan is the anonymous. Nina was one of, was with them, and tell Dylan about this which was hilarious because nina is keeping all of her doors open we've seen her talk to christopher we've seen her talk to dylan we've seen her talk to andy so she's got a little hand in the cookie jar with everybody right and i forgot to put my little handy dandy chart up here for those of you watching at home um why won't it let me i won't be able to for some reason it's not letting me exit 
over Christopher. Um, I don't know why. Oh, not Christopher. Sorry. Bisma. Bisma's gone. All right. That being said, back to the show here. Sorry about that, guys. I know I've been having the chart up there so that you guys can see who I'm talking about. However, new refreshes are here. Lily picks the rainbow. Dylan picks sushi. Nina picked the wolf. Marcel picked the crown. Andy picked banana. Christopher picked tea. Victoria picked ghost. I thought Nina's picking of the wolf was probably one of the worst decisions because I almost feel like that was too obvious. As weird as it sounds, it feels too obvious. And I do think people are starting to realize that because they did mention several times towards the test taking that they thought did believe that Nina was the wolf. All right. The chat is now open. Victoria is trying to impersonate Christopher in the chat while Andy plans to do the same. Andy said Dylan is going home tonight. Victoria said by Lily. Nina says this is between Dylan and Lily. Andy says yes, Dylan out. Uh, Marcel says alliances will only get you so far. Uh, Nina said who's uh, who's up crown? And Marcel lists everyone except for Dylan and Victoria, which was interesting. And then Dylan said, what about Dylan and Victoria? Um, Dylan then says, we always have to... Uh, have tomorrow to eliminate Nina, which again, really, really needs her to understand that. And then Nina with probably my favorite thing of the entire chat says the final day will be a face off. Does anyone want to go against Marcel? Facts. Facts. Marcel is, is like what? Two, three, two and one, three and one in the face offs. So you're wondering what that looks like in the grand scheme of things. All right. It's voting time. Andy, AKA banana picked. Dylan Rainbow, aka Lily, picked herself. I love this gameplay. Again, you're throwing the scent off of being off of yourself being that specific player. Uh, Ghost, aka Victoria, picked Lily. Wolf, aka Nina, voted for Lily as well. Uh, I thought for sure that uh, Nina would vote for Marcel, but Lily thought that she that Wolf would vote for Marcel, but picking Lily is kind of a shock. Uh, Marcel picked Christopher. And then Chris picked Andy. Um, this was a bit of a surprise. He did this to try to be anonymous with that move, which I actually thought this was like the first time we saw Chris make a move that was actually really good. Um, Sushi, a.k.a. Dylan, voted Andy out as well. Dilly, Lillian, Christopher, and Andy are on the block. Christopher is pissed off because he caught a vote and is running to Marcel, the person who voted for him. I love these scenarios. I love it. 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 Um... Everyone thinks Nina is the wolf. She ain't getting the anonymous this time for sure. So here are the following people that did not get the anonymous this week. Nina, Dylan, Lily, Andy, or Marcel. This means power couple unite with either Christopher or Victoria are the anonymous. And again, with the refresh, everybody knew that Christopher was lipstick. Right? Is it lipstick? Yes, lipstick. So with the refresh, it's given him an opportunity to change the game a little bit. Now, um, Andy and Christopher are safe, which I believe Christopher being safe was obvious considering we know the two people that are in charge. It's Lily or Dylan. I think if Christopher's anonymous, he's picking Dylan. If Victoria wins, Lily is gone. And if Lily goes, that will be another power player gone. Three straight weeks. Xavier, Jack, Marshall. Or I'm not three straight weeks because I forgot Bismuth. Bismuth I thought was okay. But it will be three out of four weeks where we saw a massive power player with Xavier and Jack being gone. And if you add Lily to that equation, crazy. Because it's crazy to see that. The power plays, man. Nina, could you imagine a Nina and Victoria face off at the end? I would love it. Um, Victoria slaying this game. Um, ever since she joined the the foray here, she has opened the door for many, many different things. So I'm very, very excited to see. Obviously, let me know who you guys think in the comments below. Who is going to go home next week? Will it be Dylan? Will it be um Lily? I'd love to know because, again, I think there's there's a, a case to be made for both of them here. And uh, Christopher winning in the anonymous list late in the game would be wild. I mean, let's be real. I haven't really seen him as a strong game player. 
but could the refresh really help his game towards the end of the game here? All right. That being said, as always, every week I drop my top three. I'm still going Victoria, still going Nina, and I'm going to stay with Lily, even though I think there's a strong chance Lily goes home this week. I'm still going to say Lily because I think she's a game player, but Nina, Victoria, Lily, um, I think we're inching closer and closer to the finale. And with the finale, it's going to be interesting how many people are left, right? Because we have, once somebody's eliminated this week, we have three, we have what? Uh, one, two, three, four, seven people left. So after this week, there will be six. Um, and then probably five going into the finale, maybe. Maybe we get a double elimination, which would be interesting. But I feel like maybe there should be like a final four. And if we get a final four, I think we're going to be looking at Victoria, Nina, Andy, Christopher. And that's if Lily goes home this week. If Lily doesn't go home this week, Lily, I think, will be in my final four. But I definitely think our if we get a final four, uh, I definitely believe we're looking at Nina, Andy, Victoria, as at least those three will be in the finale. If you think there's a final four, who do you think will have a seat at the table? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Love and Reality Podcast. We'll be back next week to talk episode 11 of The Anonymous.